So hi guys and welcome back. Today we will do a bench review of this EA Shine ED2525 mW transmitter. It doesn't have race band, it's only 32 uh, channels, but it's available quite cheaply from Banggood. What we will do today is we will measure its weight, we will measure its dimensions, we will measure how hot it gets when it's turned on and of course we will measure its power levels to see if it really outputs the 25 milliwatts. So let's start by doing some weight measurements here. So this little video transmitter comes at well, 6.9 grams, which is pretty great, so it's pretty lightweight. Of course, you will have to add the antenna and so on to that, but hey, it's very lightweight. So now let's see what its dimensions are. So it comes here with a width of about uh, 20 millimeters, a length of about, oh, come here. A length of about 26 millimeters without the connector or 39 millimeters with the connector and the width at its widest point where this connector is is about 8.6 millimeters. So what we will do now is we will plug this in thanks to this nice uh, balancer connector cable which they always supply with these transmitters so this is really nice and when we have plugged it in we will supply it with the power of a full 3S LiPo through this balance connector and then we will see how hot it gets. Of course never plug this in without an antenna. I will just use a simple rubber ducky antenna here and let's plug this in. <clears throat> so this is all powered up now and of course the most heat uh, will, uh, will happen on the other side where this heat sink actually is and this is where we'll measure the heat with our infrared thermometer here. So let's see what we have. So we are starting at 30 degrees here. We will now let this run for a bit, uh, for a few minutes, and then we will be back to measure its heat. So I have now waited around five minutes, and while this one isn't really heating up much, I have to say all my lights here on top are LEDs, so they do not emit any heat, any temperature. So if we take a look at the temperature here, we are about 38 degrees at the moment, and it really doesn't get much more starting from that. So temperature for this little 39 degrees now so we are around 40 degrees when i measure that it doesn't get much more so temperature from this is not an issue probably because it's just a 25 milliwatts transceiver uh, sorry transmitter so this is nice so we are around 40 degrees i have several other uh, transmitter transmitters which heat up much more than that so next step will be, we will actually, actually measure its RF power to see if it really gives us the promised 25 milliwatts. So I have hooked this up now to my RF power meter and I will simply go through all the bands and channels to measure its power. And then at the end of my measurements, when I went through all the bands and all the channels, I will give you an overview, a small table of the different power output for each band and channel. So we are starting here at band A with channel 1 and we get 14.5 uh, milliwatts. So we are staying at band A. Channel 2 gives us 15 milliwatts. 
Channel 3 gives us 16 milliwatts. Channel 4 gives us 17 milliwatts. Channel 5 is at 18. Channel 6 at 20, so it's racing, it's going up. Channel 7 at 21. Channel 8 of band A gives us 24 milliwatts. That's closely to what is advertised. We are switching now to band B. Channel 1 of band B gives us 23 milliwatts. Channel 2, 21. Channel 3, 19, close to 20. Channel 4, 18. Channel 5, 16, close to 17. Channel 6, 16. Channel 7, 15. Channel 8, 14. We are switching to band E now. Channel 1 of band E gives us the full promised 25 milliwatts. We are still staying at band E. Channel 2, 27 milliwatts. Channel 3, 29 milliwatts. Channel 4, 31, close to 32 milliwatts, so way more than actually specified. Channel 5 goes down to 13 milliwatts. Channel 6, 13 milliwatts. Channel 7, 13 milliwatts. Channel 8, 13 milliwatts. So we are switching to the last band now, which is band F. We are at band F now, channel 1, 21 milliwatts, channel 2, 20 milliwatts, channel 3, 18 milliwatts, channel 4, 17 milliwatts, channel 5, 16 milliwatts, channel 6, 15 milliwatts, channel 7, 14 milliwatts, and channel 8, 14 milliwatts. So we can conclude, yeah, well, this uh, ED25, well, often is below the specified value, sometimes is exactly at the specified value, and sometimes it's well over the specified value. So if you want to get the most out of this, you will want to choose band E, channel 4, which we had at about 32 milliwatts. So this concludes our review of this video transmitter. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please leave your comments below. And I'm looking forward to see you next time.